Hello, my YouTube minions. It's Robert G100 once again, and I would like to apologize to you. That's right, I'm going to apologize for delaying the Ghostbusters guide, or Let's Play, or Walkthrough, whatever you people are calling it these days. But, and this is a pretty big but, I have a little review for you. That's right, I'm going to do a review. This game's called Abadox, The Deadly Inner War. Wait, wait, let me get that all in for a second. I'll repeat. Abadox, The Deadly Inner War. Haven't heard of it? Don't be surprised. But you will after you see this. And oh, let me tell you, it's... Well, you have to see for yourself, won't you? So, what are my thoughts of this game? Is it a great, obscure Nintendo game? Or is it just a pile of poop? Poop. <laughs> Well, you'll find out after watching this. So, spare ye all of my crappy introduction, and let's get to the game. Alright, here you go. Alright, here's the starting screen. 1989. Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley, isn't that a toy company? Alright, so here's the game, and... As you look like a pretty nice game. Flying eyeballs. That's right, flying eyeballs. And a rocket... Oh, what the... Uh, okay, what am I shooting at? I, I don't even know. This is a ver The games have very nice graphics and it's like pterodactyls. I'm sorry, but pterodactyls. But as I'm saying, the game has very nice graphics for 1989. It's a very beautiful, polished game. But it's very clunky. Like, you probably can't notice this while you're watching the video, but it's a very clunky game. Like, the movement's very slow, contrasting to the fast-moving objects. Speaking of these, oh my god, it's a flaming skull, which just killed me with a tennis ball. This is a freaky game. I'm kind of shocked that they would put this in a game for children to play. Especially since it's Milton Bradley. It's actually a pretty damn hard game, I'll be quite honest. Kinda of reminds me of Silver Surfer. With the fact that you can't touch the ground or anything like that. It's like Silver Surfer in space. Alright, so. Oh! And I cannot get past the skulls for some reason. And I'm a game over already, but I'll continue. This is just. I'm not gonna call it a bad game just because it's hard. I'm gonna call it a bad game because it's clunky, and it looks like they put too much work into the graphics. Not enough work into making your character actually, you know, move with the right amount of fluency. Like, the fireballs are very hard to dodge, believe it or not. I might not look it, but... Yeah, it's kind of a challenge. The animation on your character is nice, though. I like the detail that when you fire, he pushes back his legs because of the recoil, I guess. Kind of weird, shouldn't it be like his hands or arms moving back? There's a lot of attention to detail, too. I like the way they have like that crashed spaceship with like the pink shit all over it. Kind of something out of like Ghostbusters 2 with, with the slime. So those blue things carry pi pi um, uh, power ups, I guess. And I just got killed again. I'll, 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 I'll use one last life. If I, if I get another game over, I'll just end the review right here. But, you know. Yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna call this a bad game just because it's hard. It's just not very well designed. Ooh, I got a power up. <laughs> yes! Oh! I, get, I killed one person with that, pi with that power up. I keep, I keep wanting to say pile up for some reason that power-up, so it's not very good. At first I thought like the power-up was like an enemy or something, because it kind of looked like one of those objects. I make up with like talking mouths, or eyeballs, or pterodactyls, or flaming skulls. The enemy design kind of reminds me of the randomness of Bram Stoker's Dracula a little bit, and I just got killed. Alright, this is my last shot. If I can't make past it, I'll just end the review, and I'll leave it on my note, I guess. They don't buy this game, it just sucks. 
mean, the graphics are nice and everything, but the gameplay just is too clunky. It has like that... Like, what else can I use to describe? Like, a, like, think of a very clunky game where the controls are just clunky and... Yeah, just, this is a crappy game. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright. I'll just end it here. This game is bad. Don't buy it. No matter what you do. It's not the worst game, but it's not the best. It's pretty bad. Don't buy it. You get my message? Alright. I'll see you guys for Ghostbusters. Goodbye.